Most students will be back in the classroom. More than 14,000 opted for virtual learning, learning from home. Yeah, that's of the nearly 43,000 students in the county. News for Jackson reporter Zach Lajway is joining us live outside Freedom Crossing Academy. Zach, you've spent some time actually going through the district's online curriculum. Yes, Jen, and according to the district, online learning will be more rigorous this fall than what it was in the spring. If you need help, just go to the district's website there. They have posted a ton of information about online learning for not only students, but parents and guardians as well. There are a few videos that walk them through what online learning will look like. Students will need access to a computer, hotspot and internet. The district will provide those resources if needed. Books and necessary supplies will also be provided. Students will have designated times to go live on conferences each day and distance learning will reflect what's happening within brick and mortar classrooms. So will grading practices. So students, it will not be easier at home. Grades will be the same whether you are in the classroom or learning remotely. The number of students learning online could change throughout the fall. Students have the option to move from school-based distance learning to brick and mortar classrooms, but there's no guarantee, according to the district, that students will keep the same teacher. Schools can also refer students to distance learning if they violate the district mask policy. Now, I wanna show you something. On my laptop, this is where I was going through all of that information. This is the district's website, www.stjohns.k12.fl.us slash online learning. If you go there, you will see a ton of information that will walk you, the student, or mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, the guardian, through what this online learning process will look like. There you will also find a packet that you could print out with updated answers, questions. So if you have any questions, just consult their website. We've posted a link to their website on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live in St. John's County, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.